And so it was said, that if the pillars of the world shall fall, darkness will descend upon all that lives. From the Book of the Dark, man did not heed this warning. The sacred cosmic tree burned to cinder. And so the darkness came, claiming all that was bright and living in fear. When all hope was lost, after a century without light, the sun rose once more. Thea awakened from her dark slumber, and you along with her. But Thea is not the world that once was. The age of darkness weakens, but it is far from over. Life took its shy roots, yet death will not release its grip easily. While the sun keeps some of the evil in check during the fleeting days, at night, the creatures of darkness roam free and angry, unwilling to give up their dominion over the land. It is up to you to find a way to rebuild Thea, banish the darkness, and strengthen mankind. Hey all this is Urs, and welcome to Thea The Awakening. This is one of the new games I was talking about I wanted to show off on the channel. It came out pretty recently, uh, around the November 20, 22nd, something like that. So it's a pretty new game from a four-man game studio called Mucha Games. It's based in the UK and in Poland. Uh, this is kind of a mix of 4X survival strategy, a bit of questing in there. It's difficult to describe. It'd be better if we just get you in there and show you the ropes and how it goes. So a lot of the stuff you'll be seeing here is based on the folklore and mythology and a kind of, I guess, belief systems of pre-Christian Slavic peoples. So a lot of the old gods, uh, Velesh, Morana, uh, Pierun, I mean, you'll see a lot of references to these also in common language these days too. Uh, they're all going to be here represented. If you're going to equate this to anything, this would be kind of be your leader in a Civ game. It'll give you bonuses to your group and people. I've played maybe an hour or two in this game, so I have some experience on uh, some of these gods that I've played a little bit. We're gonna go with Morana here. It's kind of a balanced and kind of education researchy type uh, leader, and that wouldn't hurt, honestly. It'll be easier to show you how the game plays when we just get into it, so let's just get into it. Uh, Morana's kind of like a uh, Wheel of Time goddess of fate, not the most friendly of deities on the planet, but, you know, generally kind of kind of chill, as long as you impress her enough, I suppose. So, we're gonna sit on gatherers for our village type. I found this helps you get up and running quickly, uh, depending on how you spawn, obviously. Hopefully there's good stuff near you. And we'll give it a go with uh, Morana at the head, and I'll show you how the game plays. This thing has gotten a lot of really good ratings on Steam as well, and it's relatively cheap for a small studio. I think it's like, runs you about 20 euros now or so. Uh, I got it on sale, it's even less, and it's I've had a lot of fun with it, and people keep saying like it's one of those one more turns, and. Before you realize it's like 4 a.m. It, it does have a way of really pulling you in. It's really neat, and there's a lot of depth to this, especially the combat and a couple other things you can craft. It's like so many little details. Thea ah, oh, this guy talking. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon, and you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now, you ask? You are divine, yes, but you have little power. And so you will know the world through your people's eyes. This means sometimes you will encounter your own divine messengers, and maybe even face your own avatars. Weird, I know. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down. So get food and craft better equipment to protect yourselves. You will guide your people to victory, either by sheer survival and progress, or by solving the Cosmic Tree's mystery. So we're going to skip the tutorial. I've done this already. It doesn't really add too much, and I'll be teaching you how it goes uh, anyway, so we'll skip that. All right. Now are you absolutely sure? There is no calling me back, you know. Also, when you have time, craft me ten cooked, baked, or roasted food. Any type. You may want to research some varieties as well to match your supplies. Also, leave these ten crafted foods in the village until I show up. Remember to check the magical help button to read. Yes, yes, yes. Ten crafted food. Give me the experience, give me the research, and let's go. So, 
what do we have to gather here? Okay, this is a really nice village setup. I've gotten stuff where you don't even have wood and stuff near you, but this is all supplies that are really good. We even gather grain here. Ha! Ah, amazing! And nuts are right here. Fantastic! And a fish! Wow, this is a really strong start. I like this. Okay, so we have a village called Ostoya. It kind of means refuge, more or less. Uh, we can look at here, we got some villagers, we got some children. That's a creepy looking kid, but we got some children. We got Trebovit, which is apparently our scholar slash crafter is my guess. You come out that way. Moimira, Ludmila, and Kajik. Kajik! They're all gatherers. They can all gather stuff for us. But you need supplies if we're to survive here. I'm going to manage supplies. The, uh, the dark wood here is pretty valuable for crafting other stuff. So is the straw. So we're not going to do that. Uh, and we're going to let them gather other stuff. So we can manage our village first. Uh, <laughs> he looks like a happy dude, doesn't he? Chebovit. All right, and we have a bit of equipment on everyone. These are the weapons they're equipping. You can see Moimira's got a big hammer. Ludmila's got also a big hammer. Well, we got a lot of hammers here. Hammers are scary weapons, by the way. Uh, they do splash damage. Uh, hatchet, which does a lot of damage, and Shabovit's got himself a sword and a ring because it looks like a man who'd wear a ring, wouldn't it? Probably wouldn't be able to get it off him anyway. Uh, so managing supplies. We took care of the wood. Production. We can harvest a lot of good stuff here. Exotic fruit is food. Uh, grain is bakeable food. I think my first research may be going to baked goods. We can make bread out of that. And that's really good, but we're going to be a little shy on Chow initially. Do this in two turns. She'll gather for 60. That's really important. We need someone to be able to gather wood. Now well, he can gather that in two turns. And then Moimira can just do grain when she gets the chance. And Shaboyit can help her out. But we'll be crafting stuff from food soon enough. Oh, we got some rare gems, some gold, and a couple other starting materials. This all makes sense later. There's a lot, and there's a bit of a learning curve to this. It took me a little bit before I figured out what was going on. We also have one expedition full of six people. Oh, we got Eliska Przemysl. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the spelling here is a mix of, like, UK sound effects and how it would be at least more or less spelled in Polish. So if it doesn't look like what you think it's going to pronounce like, then you obviously don't. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. Eliska Przemysl, uh, Tasha... Niemiwa, Niemiwa is not nice person. Mishlimir and Chestimir, I'm not sure. These are all relative rough Slavic names, too. They're not all Polish, obviously. So, uh, some of the names' meanings are pretty funny. If I find something really humorous, I'll share it with you. We have some armor we're not using either, so we got to figure out, figure out what kind of equipment y'all are missing. Oh, Eliska likes to walk around with her broom. Look at that. Look at that pose. That's a, that's a come-hither pose if I ever saw one. Uh, Przemysl's got a big hammer. Yeah, we got a lot of hammers this game. Normally, we start with not so many hammer-type weapons. And we got a lot of staves. I think we're going to transfer some of these weapons to some other folk. And so we can get some armor on them as well. Like Mishlimir and Tasha. Okay, they're already wearing the equipment. Leather Jerkin is 11 armor. That's 8 armor. And this is 11 armor. So you're wearing Bone Spike for 8 armor. You should be wearing Laminar. Wear Laminar armor, buddy. That's better for you. Bone Spike is 8 armor. And then this is 11. Can anyone wear the 8 armor? This is pretty heavy. 220 is pretty heavy. I could probably sneak it right onto Nimua, actually. Yeah, okay, that's good. They don't always optimize. Oh, everyone's got a stick. We're going to take this weapon away from Shemus and give it to someone else. Ah, uh, but maybe we won't have enough. No, we shouldn't have enough weight. Let's... Yeah, I think this will be better off in Mishlimir. This will do a lot more damage. We can use him as kind of a, a shock trooper. You want to kind of stack the power on the same guys. Wrath of the Dead. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, I guess it's made of bone. That's kind of freaky, but okay. Uh, it is, it's kind of a post-apocalyptic scenario. I can understand how... You know, you got to make some compromises. All right, these are too heavy for this guy to wield because reasons, I guess. All right, good enough for me. And what do we got in our inventory? We got some meat. Apparently, we got that in the middle of nowhere. There's nowhere to gather meat around here. And there's some vine and some gold. Kind of really don't want to carry gold around with us if we don't have to. And there's a ruin up here we're going to explore. Let me just drop the gold off in Ostoya just to make things easier. Uh, let's get some gold here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Split the stack. Go there. All right. Okay, handy dandy. Let's head up and check out a ruin. And we'll need to gather some equipment and supplies too. You'll see how this runs in a little bit. First, we're going to check out the ruin and see if we can get an encounter or something good out of here. Maybe some weaponry that's not sticks. Ruins of an old city. There's one dangerous skull. Uh, skeleton charging our way. Oh, marvelous. Skeletons are a little scary. The rats aren't much of anything. And you'll see how combat works now. So this is an actual fight challenge. So your offense is your offense, your defense is your defense, and everything else kind of works as you'd expect. If this was a different challenge, I'll maybe be able to show you one of those later. Oh, we got to re-roll. Um, this is our combat. These are the guys who are actually doing the fighting, and these are the tactical ones. All our fighters are in the tactical, and all our tacticians are in the fight. So we need to hopefully reshuffle. We can only do this once. 
until we get a little better luck. Ah, it's a little better. It's not that much better. He has Confuse. He's a pretty good tactician, too. I really wish I had my Hammer guy out there. That'd be a lot easier. Well, let's keep this in play for now. I'm not happy about this, though. We can play one card first. <sighs> if we counter the Skeleton off our offense, this would be a lot easier. But I do want to get the first move, at the very least. Oh, crap. Let's go with Tasha for now. She has shielding. Shielding is kind of stuff above your hit points. If you don't take anything more than shielding damage, it's, uh, there's no wounds at all. People can die from wounds and stuff, so it's really bad. Really bad uh, for you to take wounds. They immediately fester and like putrefy and kill you. So, okay, looks like we're doing it okay. We can maybe try and counter the offense. We've got a 50-50 shot of getting rid of the skeleton if he's in there. We have a level 6, and the skeleton, I think, is like level 4. So we may have a chance of getting this guy down. Let's take out something. Ah, we got the rat. Well, poo. Uh, we could just drop this beastie in here, and then he'll just swing first next time. I kind of feel like I want that hammer in, in the play. And he's going to be confused. So there's, there's a phase where you play your cards, which are your people in your expedition and the guys against you. And then there's two fight phases once you've played everything. So if he's confused like this, or the confused ability if I were to use it, that means he wouldn't move the first run, but he would move on the second fight phase. It'll make more sense as I keep playing, but you'll understand. And this is where there's a lot of, like, tack... Oh, they didn't have the skeleton in their attack pile. They got unlucky. They had a bad roll. That's actually really good for me. Uh, can we jump you ahead, Semisu, and have you stab him? The ability with spears, they can jump ahead in combat. I'm not sure... Oh, I think maybe the level is what tells you how much damage you do. I'm still trying to figure out the mechanics. Uh, this lets you... Yep. From the last card, deals half of its piercing damage to it. Ah, okay, that's how it is. So we did half of nine rounded down, which is four. Okay, cool. No more cards to play this round, so we have to pass. Hulk and Rat. And I guess we'll put Testimut in there. Uh, why not? Can we get closer with you? Yeah, that's okay. We do it even if we go into confused battles. So that's all right. So what is the Skelly going to do? Yeah, there's the Skelly. He's confused. We should be able to knock him down pretty easy. We have a lot of priority movement. And we're going to get Justimian at the end just because he can be there. So, combat resolved left to right. And you attack the closest enemy either to your left or to the right. So, it's it's a little weird, but I think I have the timing down. So, this should work out perfectly. You'll see how this runs. So, we're about to fight phase one. Tasha is going to whoop this thing and kill it. Justimian is going to whoop that thing and kill it. He's going to whoop the skeleton a little bit. Now, fight phase two. We get the first four moves. So, these guys should not last long. And this is trample damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. That worked perfectly. We got a spare shield, some meat, some iron, which is really nice, some extra grain we can gather, and steel, which is nice. All right. Sweet. Got some good stuff, man. Okay, got some meat available over there. I really wish we could have some veg or something. That would be nice. Uh, yeah. We'll have to research based on our supplies. The last couple bits of time I've played this, I've had meat. I mean, I haven't had meat, but I've had veg everywhere, so it's very easy to gather and make food out of that without any research. Now we might have to do some research to do it, but ah, it's all right. We'll figure it out. Looks like there's some ruins down here as well. I may want to go in that direction, but let's go north first. Looks more fertile, doesn't it? We have a research point. Never mind. We get one for free. Uh, let's go. And this will be from our, our God's bonus, I think. I think we're going to do some baked goods because we can definitely, definitely make use of our grain. And we'll probably go into armors and maybe some kind of weapon. Uh, the construction stuff I did initially, I started my first game with construction. It's not that useful, actually. I was sort of disappointed I invested in that. Uh, yeah, there's a cabbage field. It appears you find a baby, which is kind of a cabbage patch nod. But anyway, all right. Let's get some baked goods in grain, grain, and some wood. We can make some bread. And we get some fruit or seaweed. This will work. Let's make some baked meals. We will be able to make the baked meals based on this template. So every turn, we'll gather what we've already assigned to gather. So production-wise, yeah, in about three turns, we'll have some grain, and then we can actually make something out of it. We'll see. Uh, for now, though, this is pretty good. And let's keep going. Uh, two moves here. This is meat gathering. We could get some deer. That's nice. We have a source of straw here as well, which you can use for building buildings, uh, if you hadn't guessed. So that's really good. And we even have some fish. That's actually a really nice, fertile place to start. We can have, once we have more people, a basic extra expedition to get that. And you get research points from going to these ruins, uh, doing things also, crafting important objects, and also just beating stuff up in general. So this is a ruin we're going to check out. 
we can check. Oh, we can't check it out. Seriously, uh, there's a couple of ruins here. Actually, we're gonna go through here. Just run a train on all of this. Uh, ruin. Go in. What do we got? A creature comes out of the water to attack me. I never got this one before, actually. Utopiets, okay, a drowner, I guess, and a warped snake. I don't know what any of these do, actually. This is the first time. So, learning with Urs, how badly not to die. Okay, so apparently, again, we got our fighters in our tactical and our tactics in our fighter. Let's reshuffle. Can't get much worse. It just did. Okay. Well, that blows the big one. Uh, it just got worse. I didn't think it would get worse. It just did. We can play two cards. I'm going to put Tanky Tank out front. Uh, wow, that was really awful. Why don't you get closer? Because I need you to start swinging for the fences shortly. And we're going to see if we can counter an offense. We got a water snake off. Wow, these things are scary, dude. This will be one school. What the hell? There's the Utopia. It's, oh, 18? I mean, 16 damage. Oh, she can wreck this guy. That's scary. Can we confuse her? Now oh, she's level 5. We don't have enough power. We need to shield this guy, though, because he's going to take way too much damage for my liking. We have two cards to play. We're going to shield our ally. This is actually really rough. Uh, this early on in the fight. Let's go with... Let me play. Let's drop some guy with a spear ahead. Let's drop Elishka up here. Maybe we'll be able to do some damage to the snake too. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to how this combat's going to go. This is going to hurt like hell. A first action to snake. Okay, that's alright. And we'll actually get... Is he going to kill Elishka? He probably should attack Mishlimir, but I hope he's not going to kill Elishka. Uh, let's jump in front of this. The last opponent played cards. We'll be able to jump in. Ah, Shemus, nah, he's going to get killed. Let's do it like that. Let's get Justimir in there, and then Shemus will also. But this is a nasty fight, and we got a little bit of bad luck with our, our roll. We should attack him. Oh, God. Okay, so she's dead now. Snake's going to go after her. Ah, oh, No! God, one guy's down already. This is a really bad roll. Normally, we don't get hit that bad. And people can die very easily. He's he's dying in the process right now. Oh, God. Okay, so we need to camp out right now, or we're going to lose people. At least we can gather some mushrooms while we're camping. That's nice and pleasant. But he is in a bad way right now. We have no fuel for camping. Probably should have thought of that. Okay, that's just bad. That's just really bad. We can't even camp because we have no fuel. Why did I not bring fuel? That was dumb. Can we get someone out of here to bring us some fuel? Uh, Where is... Chunky's not that useful. Can we make him get you some fuel? Yeah, let's bring some... Wait, can we gather anything that'll give us fuel here? No, we are gathering stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. One second, one second. We got to do this quickly because we may be in a little bit of trouble. Give Chunky some food here. Let's give him, like, 20 for now. He'll bring it back. The most important thing is going to be some kindling. Uh, we got to get him some wood. And let's do it like that. Okay. We need to get them some wood. Where is our next expedition of big dude? Get your ass moving, buddy. That guy is not going to last if you don't get over here quickly. Hope he doesn't get attacked, but that's really awful. Can we even make camp here? Yeah, we're not going to have fuel to, to rest. Can we gather some shrooms? I guess we gather some shrooms while we're waiting. Do the best we can with this. But this dude, he took a little more to the chin than I would like. Let's see what happens. Can you move now? No fuel. Yeah, I know no wounded will heal, but you can join this expedition now. And then we will have fuel. Join. Okay, now we got fuel. Our wounded, is he dead yet? Or is he, he's still kind of at the ragged edge right now. Can we get other people to help with the gathering? This is kind of a big error on my part. I always assume you have fuel to start. You should never assume that. Okay, so is he dying or is he dead? Oh no, he's at five. Okay, that's okay. That was a scary ruin. Things can go from good to really, really crappy really, really quickly in this game, as you noticed. Uh, and we sh usually the fights are not this hard early. This is kind of a rough start. We're in a good position with our village, but the rest of it, not so good. All right, we're going to leave the wood here. You know, Chabovid has had a nice time. 
We're gonna split them off into another expedition with just a little bit of food. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna do it like that. You don't need that much food, buddy. You need, like... Can we take all the food away from the village? No way. We have this all this meat. Uh, let's leave most of the meat here, then. You just need a little bit of meat. That's fine. We'll get you back. And Shabovit, let's run your ass back to Ostoya. Run! Okay. Cool. So we're gonna wait till this guy heals up just a little bit. I don't want to go into another fight with him half down. That was really rough. Alright. Back to daytime. Let's break camp. He should be healed now. Luckily, he's not dead. I mean, he could have died. It's happened to me before. It's really sad. Uh, but anyway, so, ruins. Sometimes they go badly. Ah, finally. Here's what I want to show you before, I guess, we can call this one. Uh, we can do a different kind of attack than a war attack. We can do a hunting attack, which relies on our hunting skill, and it doesn't actually put your people's health at risk. If you fail a hunting, you just didn't get your quarry. Big deal. Uh, but, you know, if you fail a fight, people can die. So, we're going to go hunting. And I'll show you how this works, then we'll probably orders off most of them. So, obviously you can see some people, like gathering skill, people are good at hunting. Uh, warriors are awful at hunting. Luckily we rolled this just right. So we're gonna play this. And right now you're not fighting things, you're fighting a hunting challenge, so... We can do a lot here. We can counter their one offense with this. So we're gonna counter that offense, boom, that's out of the books. And we'll get our strongest fighter out there, our strongest hunter, technically. And they have no choice but to run this in confused. And this is pretty much game. We have this very, very easily. Very, very safely. And we're just going to end it here. Because these guys can't attack anyway. And the abilities don't help us much. And now round two. And the hunt is successful. Beautiful! We have won. We've gotten skilled leather. Take loot and continue. 3 XP, 2 science type thing. Very, very good. Let's see. There's a small hive out here which we'll probably take out. Also with hunting. Is that something? That's yeah, fruit right there. And there's string up there too. Okay, good. We're going to go hunting again because we have some good hunters. Get hunting. And we're going to auto-resolve this. We easily win it. Save some time. Got six amber out of the beehive. Very nice. Uh, wood, stuff. So we can gonna explore. We'll go over to the ruins here. Kind of see what else is in the area. This is marshland. It's a little harder to walk over. But it's good to know that we have a lot of different food sources. Hey, one of our children to come of age. Yeah, this really varies when it happens. My first playthrough, this took like 30, 40 turns for the kid to actually grow up. This one, it took like just a few. So we can do crafter, worker, or warrior. What I'm probably going to do is turn him into a warrior since the village is not defended right now. So we've got bed ghost. We lost a kid, but we got an adult. Yay! So where is you? You is here. Get to Ostoya and get back and rejoin the settlement with all your goodies. Uh, Not you. No, you. The other guy. This dude. Rejoin. There we go. Okay. So, five people here now. And a warrior without a weapon. We need to change that a little. We're going to take this one off of uh, Moimura, who's got it right now. And she's going to be without a weapon right now. It's kind of crappy. Usually we find some decent weapons in uh, in those ruins. We didn't really get much luck out of that one this time. By the way, Biet, Chubbov, you can go here. Once we start... Oh, do we have grain right now? We can start making uh, bread, can't we? Yes, we can. Awesome. So, we're going to produce some bread. I'll show you how crafting works. So you craft here, you go to baked meals, which you can do now because we're elite like that. And we can put stuff we have. So we have wheat, we have exotic fruit. Uh, let's put that there, this here, and we can put some wood here, like that. And this will make fruit pie. Mmm. No research, but it'll be good. Or we could not do this at all, and we can do grain and grain, and we just have bread. So there's that. All different options. We get 10 breads, or we can get 10 fruit pies. I say we just use the exotic fruit while we've got it. Uh, wouldn't hurt. So we get 10 of these every time this cycle comes through. That's this little package size. And the cycle, based on our production capability, will take two days. We can produce 60 and require 63. Ooh, can we actually speed this up just a little bit? Almost. Can we do this one a day? We can probably change that a little bit. Are we any helpers here? We don't have any helpers. We could use another body on this. We'll get there. Oops, sorry. Production. And that's good, and we are crafting some fruit pie. Mmm! Tasty, tasty fruit pie! Very, very good. Okay. Any movement? We do have movement now. Good. Let's get back over here. Gotta love me some fruit pie. We have seven days worth of fuel still. We gotta find a better way to get more fuel. Not a lot of wood. We can gather some meat up there, I guess. We gotta be careful about this. Uh, I should get more fuel once we're back at Ostoya. Because they're gathering wood right now. 
Uh, there's no good way to do this. Let's go to the ruin then. Don't have a bad fight. Don't have a bad fight. Yay! Skeleton charging our way. We had really tough fights this time. Skeletons are pretty nasty too. Okay, we have Big Hammer Boy here. We have Spear Wielder Hunter. I can probably work with this. Alright, we get to play Hammer Boy first. That's good. We have, we have a big first action point too, so worst comes to worst, we can always put him in the front of the queue. That's always nice to have. Skelly, 10 splash damage. That is freaking frightening. Alright, uh, but we're gonna whack him down. 21 damage, we'll be able to ice him in one shot, which is really, really, really good. Uh, let's get Nimiwa here, because she is mean. She is Nimiwa, indeed. And let's just see what happens, I guess. Let's get uh, Toshimiya here as well. That's what we can do. Got a little Ratso. Alright, we can confuse the Skeleton if we want to. We have a level 3 Confuse. Oh no, we'd be doing the Rat. Balls. It's okay. Uh, we can do first action on that guy. Don't really need it. We shield him. Don't really need that. I mean, at this point, we should just go in, guns blazing. We don't really need to do any of this. I'll save the first action just in case things get weird. But if they first action anything, it'll be the rat, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's just get just Team Mirror in here. I oh, know we can only play one card this turn. All right, we'll see. All right. And, yeah, we'll just get closer with Shemisu. Jump ahead with the spear. We have a lot of spear. It's pretty neat. Last guy to play. We could have played two cards there, but I want to make sure nothing weird would happen. Okay, we're good. He Spears everywhere. Spears for everyone. They're not my favorite weapon. I tend to prefer swords and hammers, but, uh, you know, the way it goes. And like you saw there, hammers do splash damage through cards, so it's really easy. There are big, big hammer, big dude with the hammers doing some work for us right now. I'm very happy about that. Ooh, new weapons. Bramblewood Club, Monster Bone, some meat, mm, meaty meat, and a lot of iron and gold. You usually don't get that much this early. It's pretty nice. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now. Expedition 1 encounter! Ooh, take the stuff. It's a hidden cache that we found. Got some fruit, some scaled leather. Ooh, I lost scaled leather too. Nice. Stay and fight. Oh, three schools? Hell no. Run for it. Get the hell out. We are not staying and fighting whatever the hell that beastie was. Oh, so he's there. We'll hit the spider's nest on the way back. Or snake's nest, I guess. Well, both. We're going to take these down and hunting nice and safe. Auto resolve it. And we got some scaled leather. That's nice from scale from the uh, snake's nest. I guess that's why you get scaled leather, because they have scales. Uh, we can't go through. Really? This is rough rough ground. Okay. Fine. Yes, wonderful. You made your first batch of oh, That's right, we need to make ten of these foods for this dude. We did it! Yay! You can cook. Crafted foods are more efficient than the raw stuff, so you may want to take them when you're out exploring, as they are lighter to carry. Indeed. So now I have a harder task for you. Build me a building in your village. Buy me a shrubbery. Good luck. All right. We'll build a building for you, little punk ass. Once we get back with the supplies, though. Oh, okay. What do we see? That looks a little freaky. A lot of silver up for the take. Silver, yeah. It's really good against monsters. Worth checking out. Okay. Where is that, and where am I not going to go anytime soon? Wow. We have some good freaking scouts. They suddenly all the way out there from over here. Whoo, boy. Pay those dudes extra. Actually, wait a minute. We don't have any money. Don't pay them anything, but just tap them on the head and say the good job. Damn it, what happened? Oh, cool. Uh, herbalist to pick the herbs. I like that. A lot of thick webs around. That's kind of scary. 17 and 9 cane. One of your group holds out their hand and speaks. Up the layer of these webs, we mean a spider queen's presence. We should be wary. All right. This is one of our special abilities here. Yep, animal knowledge. That's one of the bonuses from our, our goddesses thing. Take their time to analyze the scene, spider egg, spider queen. Yeah, I, given how my fights have been going, I don't have my great weapons. I were gonna, I are gonna, I'm gonna get the hell out of here while we still can. Risk is too high. We got some herbs, I'm pretty happy. And let's just forbid some items from being eaten and used for fuel here. Manage supplies. Don't burn that if we ever sit. Don't eat that. <laughs> Why? No, I guess we can eat that. We get that from, from our village pretty easily. Don't eat the mushrooms, though. And the more varieties of food you have, the more bonuses you get here. So it, it's to your advantage to have a lot of different food varieties, but, you know, they don't, they're not that critical yet, and if you want some rare foods to cook with, you shouldn't be burning through them at that fast of a rate. Yeah, we can do it with spider nest in one turn. Let's go hunting here. Uh, Auto-resolve the hunt, and some spider silk. Yeah, it could be better. You do get more rewards from fighting normally, I think, uh, according to the game tutorial. 
But, no, no, no. I need to see what the gathering is. Oh, there's vegetables here. Yeah, so this is just basic veg. Uh, normally, these are all around my uh, encampment. But they're not this time. We have grain. We can make bread, though. That's really good. And we need a research point. Yay! Because we got enough stuff to do it. So we're going to go and be able to craft, I think, some solid armor. This always helps. I always like to be a little tanky. I like to go at least to medium pretty soon. And that's really... It's, I found that to be very good for survivability. Uh, so we'll learn how to make some armor. And we should have some supplies in order to enable that to happen right now. So as we head back to our thing... Hey, it's the Knight of the Goat! <laughs> in, in honor of reverence of Jade. Oh, yeah, it's Jade. You see this remnants in... Uh, still in some Slavic cultures here. Pulling to Jade. All right, so... The forefathers are here. They're talking. An elderly beater, bearded man. Done us proud grandchildren. Cleanse you of any curses. Also, if you ever need to be cursed, you can go to us. Cool. All right. Where are we going? Jada are over there. All right. Very nice. So that's going to be pretty chill, old folks. Is there a ruin right here? There's a ruin right there. I'm going to hit this one before we head back to Australia real quick. Ah. Poo. All right. Well, let's wait here for now then, I guess. What up, homie? Another skeleton. Okay, fine. The world is littered with skeletons. Uh, okay, let's just go in like that. I should be alright. We get the first go, so it'll be a lot easier. Two cards to play. Let's see if we can maybe counter one of their offenses. Can we get the skeleton out of there? Nah, just the rat. Boop. Okay, that's alright. You're running confused, huh? Really? You're pushing infused on that? That's a really bad move. It means we're definitely going to get the first shot with this guy. Uh, let's put Stumpy over here in. Because he'll get a first shot anyway. Put another card in? Get Pshemisu out there. Uh, Alright, that sounds good enough for me, I guess. There's their Skelly. Now he's playing confused. Alright, uh, so we're, no point confusing the Skeleton. We could... Let me shield... Shemus real quick. Probably worth it. Just in case he doesn't take any damage. And we can jump her in to get closer. To do some damage to Skeleton already. Yeah, this pretty much works out for me. Alright. They got one more offense card to play. But we're gonna run a train through all of this with our hammer, dude. Hi. Hi. That's <laughs> just abusive. No more Skelly. Ow! Dude. Don't be a dick. All right. Well, he's dead now, so he's no longer an ass. We got, ooh, we got another hammer. Yeah, I like me some hammers. Thorny war hammer, even. She got a little bit of scuffs and cuts here, but she did all right. So let's get back to Ostoya. We can always uh, trade her out, too, if we need to. Oh, we can go three turns this way. Perfect. We're almost back home. Damn it. Oh, cool. Uh, campsite and faint tears of bloody struggle. That must be not ominous at all. Have a long time ago. Do not end well for travelers. Piece of a human body. <laughs> uh, angry spirit. The tree's hollowed out. And there's a bundle. Let's see what's in the bundle. Oh, cool. Special wood. Elven wood. Yay. All right. Take seven. Leave. We got some shrooms. As all the Slavic peoples know, they love... God, can we please get home? Hey, look. More spiders. Herbs. Yes, it could mean a spider queen. We're getting the hell out. We're not fighting the spider queen. They want us to fight a spider queen. I'm not going to let the game do that to me. All right. We've made it back to our encampment. I'm going to call it there for the first episode, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll probably record a couple more of these episodes uh, to kind of show you more how the game plays. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, yeah, this has been Thea the Awakening. I have been Nurse, and I will see you next time. We continue the journey to survive in the world after the darkness with the help of our beneficent uh, <laughs> Slavic deity helpers or something along those lines. Till then.